to it. Come, oh. come closer to this side, so you can see the TV. The last one, come closer, close, please. I, I will do that. Or actually, Google Earth, you can sort of pull images off and use that offline, and that's very high optical imagery. Similarly with the radar, if we know someone's going to a similar, uh, specific area, and we want, we're interested in what the crevassing is like, we'll sort of buy imagery related to that. And this could be, depending on the resolution, this could be quite a lot of money, like sort of eight, nine, ten thousand dollars for one sheet, which is, you know, not very big, sort of 30 kilometers square sheet, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so, that's why we haven't got it for the whole of Antarctica because it would cost us millions and millions and most of it isn't useful to us. So. But uh, what we'll do is we'll zoom in on the South Pole. You'll have to bear with me a wee bit sometimes. It's uh, a little bit slow to go to that. And then I'll get rid of the Lima imagery. It's more like a bit of a white black space. And then um, this is the radar imagery, so radar basically works on uh, reflections, so what we're interested in often is the crevassing, so we're sort of bouncing the radar down, if there's something funky going on it shows up as white, which is quite nice to see, so once again we've got Antarctica. inlet which is here so you can see that they cross a couple of areas where the ice is moving quite different and distinctly different and those are areas where there are crevasses and that's from the uh, Messner start to the Hercules inlet route. Uh, some of you may be aware of some of the other expeditions going on this season we've got Ben Saunders is coming in from this direction up here and then down in the south here we've got a Norwegian expedition uh, Astrid and Sievert and they were trying to basically kite ski out to here the Bay of Wales and then hopefully ski sort of all back into the South Pole and that's basically following Amundsen's route and uh, if they were to do it uh, Astrid would be the first female but unfortunately they got really uh, bad winds so they were hoping basically to get good winds to kite out and then they'd ski back but they found themselves with a lot of you know the winds weren't coming from the south, instead they were coming from the north. They ended up having to tack back and do, and they just found they were making not enough headway mm. for the amount of food they had, so they called it quits halfway around, and they're now returning to the pole, and they're just coming through the Transantarctic Mountains now. South Pole by the weekend, and then they'll come out by a Hercules inlet, and so they'll be out sort of late January. Uh, we've got another team that's coming up the Reedy Glacier and then up the Kansas, which is a sort of uh, glacier offshooting from the Reedy and that's not been made. And also a traverse of the organ pipes, sort of, which is all these peaks around this wee circuit. Uh, and then now essentially, as of today, uh, they've sort of not run out of food, but they're getting low on food. And their ultimate plan is to come skiing in through the back into Union uh, from there. So they're gonna cross Antarctica, not via the pole, but, um, <coughs> oops, I can zoom out. Yeah, so, so they're going to come, come back here, they've got a cache here of food they depoted, and then they've got a cache here, so they're going to ski out to here, and then hopefully kite ski over to here, and then kite ski right in. So, you know, the climb itself was probably one of the easiest parts of the expedition. The whole logistics and journey itself is, there's so many unknowns and it's not been travelled on, and a lot of it you can see there, and the sort of ice fall coming around. And then Rossman, and what we have is a funky wee tool, if I can... Cool, and yes, yeah, so the elephant's head is just this mm. bit of rock here, so you be able to park up right in this wee bit here. And then depending on energy levels, you can sort of potter around. There's some absolutely amazing uh, sort of showing the approximate route. It changes each year because, as you can imagine, you're going through a fairly mountainous area. So crevasses change, uh, sort of uh, hazards change on the internet these days. But yeah, so this is, this is the sort of uh, the ski way where the aircraft landing around here. This is all the tents and things. And this is the main track up to Vincent. And then onto the 
the summit here. Mm. Mm -mm. So camp uh, that evening, uh, the, the next day rather, and, uh, and then wait for a plane, as you may have gathered the folks that have been, they, they unfortunately, on that screen. Now we are just basically working on some, some admin, uh, compilating information from the expeditions. So if you see on that, this whiteboard, these are all the expeditions that we have and look at the state of the atmosphere and try and predict that into the future. Um, so we've got access to a pretty good model here which um, is tuned for the Antarctic. I'll go out so somebody can this, go in. This is like your fridge at home that we have to heat, you know? <laughs> and this is a, this is a heater, actually. Ah, okay. <laughs> I have here fresh um, fruits and, and vegetables considering where we are. Yeah. What? Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, we, uh... We are out of meat. They can Five days to sow Yeah, they, they can take, for example, if they are too How was it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you know if Vinay is coming? Hmm? Is Vinay coming? Yeah. Who?
I think one of the thing is Asians, they have um, an enzyme. That, that's why they're, they're usually quite like drinkers. But oh, you see what the shit is Like Wait, have you that? Oh, oh. <laughs> Solo. That visited the South Pole yesterday. Uh, so congratulations everybody for this big achievement. We are Cheers. really happy to have you here. Yeah. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? One, two, okay. three. On your marks, get set. One, two, three. Whoa! Oh!